all down to Billy Bob Jenkins' Dog Emporium. And by Dog Emporium, I mean a shed up behind my house that's way too small with no heat or air conditioning where I keep a bunch of dogs. Now, we got cages and we got everything that you want to see. Now, come on down here and we'll make you a good, good deal on a dog. Now, some of them might not have no papers. They might not have no papers, but we got Mommy and Daddy both on the premises so you can look at them both. Now, don't pay no attention to Mommy. She's been sick and she's old, you know, and she's just old. She just won't eat. Don't pay no attention to her. Now, all these animals have been taken care of. They've been taken, I mean, you know, it's hard. You know, you've got so many and you gotta do, it's just hard, you know. Don't pay no mind to that smell, that's normal. That smell is just normal. Any breeder you go to is gonna have that smell. I mean, come on, they're just dogs. Now listen, we can get you anything you want to. We can get you purebred, we can get you mixed bread. Heck, we'll even breed a dog with a cat if you want to. Now listen, we having a special this week, and this special it's on the dogs where, I mean, I've been learning and I'm doing real good about cropping the ears and I did it myself. Some of them might be a little uneven, but I'll knock a hundred dollars off of it right there, son. And listen, I'll even throw in your first Walmart flea bath bottle right there. I mean, that's half full. But, you know, I throw it in because you're going to want a flea bath in before you bring him home. I'm just going to tell you right now, we had this thing go on last week. Anyway, listen, and some of them have their shots. Okay. I mean, I give them to them, and, okay, well, most of them ain't had no shots, but listen, you can get shots cheap, so come on down here to Billy Boggs, Dog and Cat Emporium, where I'll make you a good deal on a good-ish dog. Thanks, song. <laughs> we got how to use a kazoo for you. So please don't buy dogs from people like that. If you go into the conditions are terrible, and you see that it's just a, a really, really bad situation for these dogs, don't buy the dogs. You're gonna to wanna to buy these dogs to get them out of a terrible situation, but, but don't do that. Because if you do, you're perpetuating the cycle. You're making it where they can make money off of this, they're gonna continue doing this, and you didn't help anything. If you wanna help those dogs, you wanna help the future dogs that maybe end up in that situation, what you do is you call the police, you call the ASPCA, you call all these animal rights activists that you can find. What might be in there, buddy? You might not be messing around there too much. <laughs> and and you get these dogs some help. You don't buy the dogs. Now Coco has made that mistake in the past. We came across the goat that was in a really bad situation, and she decided that uh, she was going to buy this goat to get it out of the situation. Of course, two weeks later, there set another goat in that situation and it didn't really help anything so don't don't buy these animals whatever you do that's the last thing you want to do i'm not trying to say that everybody who breeds a dog at home is doing something bad or that they're irreputable or they're bad people cruz came from a smaller kennel he had a good bloodline and they were good people and if you go to their place you'll see that it's nice and clean you'll see that all the animals are treated well there's plenty of space they're taking very good care of these dogs and they're in a loving, kind environment. Now, if you go to one of those kind of places, everything seems okay. You know, you can follow up with some of the other purchasers who got dogs from them. Are they happy with what happened? Check with your local agencies, see if there's been any complaints. Make sure you're dealing with some good people. And just because they're larger breeding places, it also doesn't mean that they're good to their animals and they're doing the right thing. Check up on them, do some paperwork, do some homework, I guess. Check the paperwork. So this is more about kindness to animals and humane treatment than anything else. So you wanna make sure we perpetuate the goodness and the kindness in this industry. If not, we're just gonna get a bunch of puppy mills. Cause yeah, it's cheaper to just raise them any old way and to farm them like chickens which is another subject altogether but it's not what we want to perpetuate it's not what I want my money to go into and it's not what I want for the Doberman Pincher buddy it's a hard walk for an old man what are you trying to do to me why do these breeders do this kind of thing why would they be cruel to animals like that like Glenn Fry said the lure of easy money has a very strong appeal. And that's a fact. 
with anything. Now, he meant it about drugs, things like that, but it's also true about exotic dog breeds. Anything that has a lot of money to it, you're going to get irreputable people doing irreputable things. So come on down to Billy Bob's. We'll come for a promise of a good, cheap dog, and you'll leave because of the smell.